Hello, this is Heather Hoffman. Happy December with Simon Says Stamp. I've got a fun card to share with you today using one of the new releases from December. This is the picture book Mocha Die. And I just think it's absolutely adorable. I've used it several times already. And as I was sitting there looking at it the other day, I kind of have an obsession with uh, buffalo plaid. It's so popular right now and I've loved it for longer than it was popular. Um, but I thought, how fun would it be to make a little coffee cup out of buffalo plaid. So this pattern paper is from Photo Play um, Kringle and Company. It's a six by six paper pad. It was actually in the December card kit of the month, um, but you can still buy it on the website as well. I also cut out that little dollop of whipped cream out of white cardstock and added a little softening to the edges with uh, some antique linen distress ink. And I've also die cut a background, um, the holiday knit background, it's actually from last year. I have that die cut and I've stacked it on a card base that I'm creating there with fog um, gray. It's just a nice soft gray card stock, card base, card stock that I'm using for the card base. And then I've used my nesting circle dies to cut um, just part of a circle. I'm going to trim it off so I wasn't worried that it was too narrow out of Nina Desert Storm, kind of a good craft card stock. And I'm adhering together the two pieces of that um, coffee cup there. Now I started looking at this and I liked the craft, but I felt like it was a little too dark. So I die cut that same circle from vellum and I was trying to decide which way I wanted to go with it. And as it turned out, I um, went ahead and tore an edge on the craft cardstock kind of to ground um, that coffee cup. So I had something to set it on and use the vellum circle to kind of differentiate it from the background. So it's kind of a, a dual layer effect and I'm going to stick that craft cardstock on, which is also going to give me a spot to hide my adhesive on the vellum. Now to adhere that holiday knit background, I'm just cutting little tiny squares of good sturdy adhesive. I'm using score tape. Um, and I skipped ahead. I've put a little square into each of those open spaces and peeled off the backing so I can adhere it onto my card base. Now I'm going to place that circle kind of um, down in that corner where I know I'm going to put it and I'm going to grab a little bit of post-it tape to hold it in place. And then I can pull my paper trimmer out and kind of trim off the extra so I have nice um, straight lines and trim it off um, so that it'll fit onto my card base. I didn't get a perfectly clear cut along the bottom there when I peeled it off. Um, just ran it a little funny with my paper trimmer. So I went ahead and pulled out my scissors and just kind of fixed that edge a little. It was just a little bit fuzzy. I think the double layer with the vellum and I didn't go over it well enough. All right, now I can adhere that in place. Um, you can see there how I'm hiding that adhesive behind that craft paper on there. And I can tuck it on there. Instead of lining it up with the corner of the card, I lined it up with the corner of that background that I die cut. All right, and what's cuter than a coffee cup with wiggly eyes, right? So I started playing, I start off with four millimeter um, little ones and then I kind of looked at them and thought, well, maybe a little bit bigger would be good. As you can see, I like wiggly eyes. I have um, lots of different sizes that I have in a little container there. So I went with the five millimeter size and I'm going to start by putting my foam adhesive on the back, which preps me to stick it to my card and also gives somewhere to put the glue to hold those eyes in place. So I'm using Gina K Connect glue to do that on any liquid glue will work great. Um, getting those on there, make sure the eyes are even, you don't want crooked eyeballs. And then I can peel off that foam tape and adhere that in place. All right, we're almost done here. Now I need to add a sentiment. So I pulled out the fun Hello You stamp set and Hello Die. Um, this is a CD, CZ Design stamp set. And I start off by die cutting that die from black cardstock. And then, as you can see, I use my scraps of cardstock. So. Ignore those die cuts on the bottom of that piece. I'm going to line up my stamp set in the negative space. Then I can set that die cut piece into that negative space. And this will allow me to stamp and heat and boss. You can do the reverse. You could stamp it first and line up your die over it. This is just kind of um, one of my favorite ways to get a foolproof uh, stamped image into my dies. Now I'm going to sprinkle white embossing powder on and I was trying to be really careful and hold it carefully and then I realized my plan was to trim off um, one side of the word there. So as I started doing it all of a sudden I went, oh, wait a minute, I can just take the powder off of that side a little bit there and just hold on to that spot. So you can use tweezers or just hold it carefully if you want to use the whole die, but I knew I wanted to trim that off anyway. So it just made it a little bit simpler. All right, now that I have a good coating of the white embossing powder, I'll quickly set that with my heat gun. 
and get that last little spot that was too close to my fingers. And then I can kind of set that in place where I want and then I'm just gonna use my scissors to trim off that excess there. Make a nice straight line and that'll provide an easy spot to line that up on the top of my card. All right, I pulled out some lipstick cardstock, Simon Says Stamp cardstock, that kind of coordinated with my buffalo plaid there on the cup. And I'm gonna stamp one of the supporting sentiments there. And then I'm also using um, the sentiment, the label dies set. Um, this is gonna help me trim off the, get myself a perfect banner. And then there's a little edge that I can stamp on it that's gonna give it the little banner effect there. You can see how adjustable that is. You can get any width and any length of banner that you would like to do. I'm only adding that little um, fishtail banner to the one side because I'm going to have it just go to the side of my cardstock there. Isn't that cute, that little banner? And you can have it go either way, cut in or cut out to make kind of a V, um, either a negative V or a positive one there. All right, I wanted to layer up that hello to have a little thicker and instead of trying to fit foam adhesive behind it, I just die cut it two more times from Nina 110 pound um, solar white cardstock. And then I'm gonna be able to layer these up together and it'll kind of make it almost like a chipboard um, or a thicker embellishment. You could also just put foam adhesive behind, but to me this was kind of easier and quicker and it gives a nice solid base to place that on there. All right, once I have all those adhered together, I'll trim off that same extra spot from the white pieces from underneath. And then I'll add my liquid glue to the black of that, back of that hello. I first had to kind of plan where I wanted to place it. And I kind of just went with that rule of thirds. Um, the coffee cup's kind of a third up from the bottom and placing the sentiment up uh, a third from the top kind of just helps balance the card. And then um, aligning that on the left and the coffee cups on the right, just one more way to balance it. All right, to hold that in place, to keep it flat, I set just a clear stamp block on it for a few minutes. It kind of helps keep those edges from curling up so that that adhesive, um, the liquid glue can dry just enough to hold it in place. And then a little bit of foam adhesive on the back of that banner. And then I quickly checked um, just to make sure my width was right. And I ended up trimming off a tiny bit. And even once I adhered it onto the card, um, I ended up offsetting it a little more than I thought. So. Once I peel off that backing and place it on, I still used my scissors just to trim off a tiny bit more so I had a straight line there um, along the edge of that white panel. As you can see, it's, it's a little easier before, but it's not that hard to do afterwards either. All right, final finishing touch. I always like to add a little bit of texture to my cards when I can, and I love May Art's Jute String um, Burlap Twine. This is the ivory colored one and I'm wrapping it around the entire bottom of my card base, kind of tucked under that coffee cup just a little, and then I can tie it in a little bow and trim off the edges. I always um, pull off the pieces of this longer than I need them because then I can tie my bow and make sure my edges are trimmed just to the right length that I want when I'm all done. So I always like to have a little extra to work with to make sure I get it just right. And then um, once I have that in place, I add a little tiny dot of liquid glue behind that bow. That way when that dries, I don't have to worry about that bow moving or anything sliding off. All right, there you go. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're having fun along the blog hop. Make sure and check out all the stops along the hop and happy December and Merry Christmas. 